This is the Minx Air 200 from Cambridge Audio. Hi there for your diary. We're going to take a look today at the Minx Air 200. This is a large integrated speaker system that gives off huge excellent sound and it does a whole lot more than that. The details are going to be over on the full review on Gear Diary, GearDiary.com, so please check the site for all of the specifications and uh, more pictures and descriptions. But I did want to take a few moments to walk around this rather large, rather impressive speaker because it is, uh, it is impressive. It has an MSRP of $499, which may sound high, but it's really the, the market for a large good quality integrated speaker. If you look at uh, Sonos or Chorus, they're going to be about the same price as well. So let's take a walk around the speaker. As you can see, the uh, lines are really, really clean. The speaker itself is uh, very attractive, but unassuming. The Cambridge audio name is down here. If we go to the top of the speaker over here, you've got your on off button, you've got your volume up and down, you've got your pairing button, and you've got your audio source button. You can use these or you can use the included remote. It's one of those rather inexpensive, cheap remotes, but it does work. Or you can use the free iOS or Android app to control the audio, and it works really, really well. So you have three different choices right on the device, using the remote, or using a smartphone or a tablet. Over here, you've got five presets. We'll come back to that in a moment. Over here, you've got an integrated handle, which allows you to move it from place to place. This is not a portable speaker, but it is a movable speaker. Inside the speaker, you're going to find two two and a quarter inch drivers and a six and a half inch subwoofer. And the integrated handle is also a bass radiator. Mix that with Cambridge Audio's technology, their digital signal processing, and all of their other wizardry, and you get a speaker that sounds phenomenal and puts out 200 watts of power. So this is a very, very powerful speaker. This is not just for a small apartment or bedroom. This can fill a living room with sound and it'll fill the living room with good sound. That alone would not make this speaker as impressive as it is. What makes it so impressive is what you're going to start seeing here on the back. Here on the back, this is where the AC power port is. There is no option to use this with batteries. It is a movable but not a portable speaker. Here you've got a control to adjust the bass, so you can do that manually as well as using the equalizer via the app. Here you'll find an Ethernet connection. You can connect to your network via a physical connection or you can connect wirelessly. It does have wireless built into it. More on that in a second. Here you have a 3.5 millimeter port so that you can connect an audio source using a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable. It's not included but uh, pretty, pretty easy to come by. Here you have RCA connectors so that you can connect a DVD player or your television and use the speaker as your audio uh, device for it so that you can get much better audio than you would from most television sets, obviously. Great sound, but there's a lot more to this because this has integrated Bluetooth, which is not a surprise. What is a little bit of a surprise is that the Cambridge Audio folks did some Bluetooth wizardry and it actually puts out a much better quality audio stream via Bluetooth than many other speakers. So it'll sound really good. It's not a, a thin, lousy Bluetooth connection, but rather you're going to get really good Bluetooth audio from this. If you use an Apple device, iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, or in any sort of a Mac, you can use AirPlay because this has AirPlay built into it as well. We've seen a lot of Bluetooth speakers and we've seen a lot of AirPlay speakers, but we rarely see a speaker that has both Bluetooth and AirPlay. The AirPlay lets you get a higher fidelity connection of stream from your iPhone or your iPad or your Mac. The Bluetooth means that this will work with Apple's devices, Android devices. It'll also work with Windows Phone devices and with BlackBerry devices if you happen to be using one of those. There's one other aspect of this that's really worth noting, and that is the fact that this is also an internet radio. The five presets over here are used to allow you to turn the speaker on and access your top five favorite internet radio stations. You can also access 10 of them with presets on the remote or with 10 presets that are on the iOS or the Android app. And if you change the presets, it'll actually make the changes across all of your Minx Air apps so that you have the same stations on all of your devices if you like. So you can connect via physical connections, you can connect via Bluetooth, you can connect via AirPlay, or you can simply use this as your internet radio. It is big, but it's also a bit unassuming once you have it on a shelf. I refer to this in the review as a wolf in sheep's clothing because that's exactly what it is. It does not look like it's a 
behemoth of a speaker, but it is a big, powerful, and really usable integrated speaker system. Put it in pretty much any room, and you're going to have all the music you want, and you're really going to enjoy it. This is the Minx Air 200 from Cambridge Audio. It has an MSRP of $499. It's available now. Please check the full written review over on Gear Diary, and take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would really appreciate that. This is Dan from Gear Diary. Thanks very much for watching.